member of the party, especially the supporters of BJP say that, you know, Amadi party is an agent of the Congress party and all that. And sometimes I reply to them that it, I don't think it is true. Because they keep saying, no, Modi is the only alternative because these all other Congress people are corrupt and uh, these Aam Aadmi Party just want to split the votes, anti, uh, you know, corruption votes, and that's why they are coming. And I find that there is not, uh, there are not enough people to reply to these kind of unfounded allegations. Right. Okay. So on the social media, what I would suggest to you is, you must have, I, and you know, you have the list of cities in India. In each cities of India, let's say, you know, you can have around four or five committed people who are looking at these messages and trying to put forth their viewpoints. Because I cannot do it alone, you know, I cannot come back 400 messages because there are 400 people who are arguing back to me and all that. And uh, I mean, I cannot do it or one person cannot do it. So it has to be a systematic effort. You must have, let's say, list of Indian cities and each city five or six committed people who are looking at the Times of India message boards, Facebook message boards, and replying and replying with facts, not lies or any exaggerations, yeah. but replying with facts. Not so, with abuses. <laughs> exactly. Not with abuses. Not with misinformation. Not with, uh, you know, some kind of uh, pictures and all those kind of things, but genuine replies. So that is one point which I would like to make. The second thing is, the elections are in 2014. While one part of your Aam Aadmi Party is sound. You say, okay, you have ideology. I think most of you are people with good background, with strong ideology, good philosophy. But that is not going to, uh, I mean, win the elections alone. That is just one part. But you have to get the action also in place. You know, today, when you say Aam Aadmi Party, what picture comes to my mind? And I am saying this because I am a business teacher. I teach subjects like branding and all that. So what, what comes to my mind is just two people, Prashant Bhushan and Arvind Kejriwal and corruption. That's all. So what I'm saying is, the other aspects of your philosophy, that you have a broad agenda for sustainable governance, that you are not just a bunch of two people talking all the time about corruption. This must percolate to all sections. And in order to do that, you must get your act together and come out with your... Uh, symbol for the party. For instance, BJP has Kamal Kapoor and Congress has hand. So these brandable symbols must come out fast. You cannot wait so long. You know? Because right now, people just know these two, three things. They, they, there is a kind of a lack of awareness. You know? What is a party? What is its program and various issues? Will they be able to handle foreign policy? Will they be able to ha handle in internal security issues? We don't know. You know? Okay, so these kind of things have to come out fast and in order to do it, you have to establish basis. And other thing I would like to say is, also that after you have, uh, you know, cities in India, then you can also look at which cities you have a probability to win. So you make a list of probabilities. So, this, yeah. yeah, that went some fantastic very, feedback. Very, very some, you've made some very valid points. So, uh, there are a couple of points. One is you said you are coming here as an observer yeah. and outsider, not part of the party. So, one is one of the biggest things that we're trying to do is transparency in within how we run our politics or how we do our politics. So, for our monthly meetings, especially here in the UK, you know, it's not just the financing where we are open about the donations we receive. Um, we welcome observers to come and sit in on those meetings, give us our feedback, give us where we, where you think we are doing bad or we could we are going wrong or we could, you could correct us. So we are open to feedback, we are open to suggestions. So we are very open. So you're welcome and I you know, look, at, look forward to your active participation from coming months onwards. You know, you, you can call us, email us, contact us through that. Your second point about social media, you're right. I mean, when you actually think back, the, the party is less than what, five months old, four, four and four months old. So, and it has grown out from a volunteer base. So people have been volunteering their time. So we were not as organized as we are today. Uh, and on the social media front, we actually now have hundreds of volunteers looking at each and every aspect of each of the channels, each of those media outlets, like say Times of India or LinkedIn or so on. And it's a lot more organized, but we can always be better. So, you know, we are looking for more suggestions and more feedback from people like you. And, you know, you can, you can always come up and talk to us. You've made some very valuable suggestions. Uh, the social media issue is certainly very important. Modi developed in a very organized way this people who sit on the social media and who keep on supporting him, even if it is by abuses. Uh, 
<laughs> we certainly not, don't need to yeah. uh, have people who just uh, are abusive, but we certainly, it would be a very good idea and very useful to have a team of people across the world who are at least responding in a sensible, sensitive, intelligent way uh, to these kind of criticisms uh, which come from, say, supporters of Modi or uh, this kind of thing. So, we certainly need to do that. That's a very valuable, very important suggestion. Uh, about the party's policies, yes, we have just set up these teams, uh, the teams, we should try and propagate the fact that these teams have been set up thereafter when the reports come or when their policies are made and when we prepare our policy document, that needs to be propagated. That will take a period of three or four months. Probably it will be ready only by July, uh, our sort of policy document. So then people will know and then people should start talking about these things so that it gets into the public consciousness that look, uh, we have policies on all these issues. It will take some time because this is just a very new party, so therefore all this takes time. But it is, we are conscious of that and we are moving towards that. Okay. I think so the, the election symbol. Uh, yeah, so the election. Symbol. Yeah. symbol, you see, we you cannot now. get the symbol uh, because we will just be a registered political party, not a recognized party. We can't get the symbol of our choice. We'll have to choose from among the free symbols that the election commission has. And even amongst those, if any other registered political party asks for the same symbol, then there is always a toss-up uh, as to who will be given that symbol. But still, <coughs> we'll try and get a... Normally, they allot the symbol only few weeks before the elections. But we will try and persuade them to allot it much earlier, whatever the symbol is. Uh, among the free symbols, I was saying that there is a English hat but there isn't the Indian topi. So, we can ask them to include the Indian topi also as a free symbol. Perhaps this would be a brand which people recognize, this topi. What about the mango? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's more of a